Hey guys, sorry this is different from my other videos, but I know what Lunchly is, and I'm not afraid to step up to it. Um, I will pause the video and explain briefly whenever they are wrong or whenever I need to point something out. Now, we can watch this video. Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. It doesn't matter how much liquid you get inside of a drink. It just matters how healthy it is. Capri Sun is way more healthy than Prime since it uses natural ingredients and it's not an energy drink. Prime is meant for is not meant for daily consumption. You shouldn't be adding it inside of a lunch that's supposed to be ripping off Lunchables. Which means that Capri Sun is way better and way healthier than Prime ever will be. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. It actually depends on what type of Capri Sun we're talking about here, but in but this might be the regular Capri Sun, meaning that they get regular B vitamins and vitamins itself from the natural fruit, meaning that Prime cannot handle or be even close to the amount of vitamins in regular Capri Sun. It depends on what type of Capri Sun we're talking about, but the, but the least amount of vitamins a Capri Sun could have is three. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables crunch yeah! bar. They're almost the exact same thing. You cannot point that out because they're literally the same thing. It's a crunch bar and a crunch bar. What do you What do you want? What are you expecting? Our pizza uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. It's still cheese either way. Plus, taking out the most important part of a cheese makes it moldy. I have no idea what this part of the cheese is called, but I just know that taking it out made the cheese very moldy. Even Logan Paul had to admit it. He saw people opening the box and finding the mold, and he knew it wasn't staged anymore. We're also 30 less calories, 3 less grams of fat, and 8 less grams of sugar. This is clearly all a lie. You just tried to find a number that was very close to Lunchly, just so that you could rip them off and try to shame them. Turkey stack 310 calories. 230 Lie. calories. 21 grams of sugar. Only 7 grams. Lie. Sugar. If you look at this close up, you can already tell which one. I can, I'm clearly choosing this one. It looks way better and way eye catching than whatever that is. It looks like it came straight out of a lunchroom. A school lunchroom. It has better ingredients. Alright, we'll start off with the Lunchables. Bro. That is so biased. I'm sorry, that's trash. All right. I'm sorry, that's trash. You're not sorry. When you literally discriminatory, when you, when you said discriminatory hate speech against a famous company and another famous company, you guys aren't even famous yet. Even though you guys might have more quote unquote followers than Lunchly ever, not Lunchly, Lunchables ever had, that doesn't mean you're better than them. Now we're trying Lunchly. Come on. We're not biased at all, but ours is way better. You are biased. I bet that right after that video, you guys threw all of that up. <laughs> I wonder what you guys are laughing about. It's so funny. Fiesta nachos. 22 grams of sugar. 10 grams of Bye. sugar. 7 grams of protein. 9 grams of protein. Bye. Come in close and look at the queso cheese and love. Even though they might be brighter than that one, I think I can still prefer this one because it includes nacho cheese and not lighter cheese. The lighter cheese would have been good in the turkey stackums case, but in this case, if we're looking for nacho cheese, not for light cheese, that just is weird. Actually, versus whatever that is, oh, drip gosh. versus stick. I like my cheese drippy, bro. Since this is a meme, and I'm not going to be covering up the people talking about this meme, if it drips off, it gives you less cheese. If it sticks on, it gives you more cheese. Plus, because plus cheese is supposed to have a thick consistency. This is a Lunchly salsa right here. Look at the consistency, the texture. And this is Lunchables. This and look, it's watery. It's, I can't even look at that. <sighs> Sauce is supposed to be watery. I can not have to explain that. You know what? One of my favorite Mexican restaurants, their sauce is watery. I can deal with that. I can literally dip my chip in there and eat it. It doesn't have to be thick. It doesn't have to be watery. It's still sauce. What do you want me to say? With 400 milligrams of electrolytes, my God! And it's available for around $4. Ooh. Super affordable. Go give oh it a try. Oh my God. Um, now clearly, even though it's more affordable, that just means that you're trying to get some little kids to buy your product. Yeah, I used to look up to you, Mr. Beast. I used to think you were 
cool person for curing the blind and curing the deaf and giving water to African kids. But no, you gotta ruin your career because one of your best friends is... You know, I'm gonna end the video here, actually. Um, sorry that this is way different from my other videos that I've ever made. And sorry if... And I'm not supposed to be doing hate speech here. I'm just trying to say the facts. Because some videos are just or just doing actual hate speech and not actually trying to point out the facts. Some of these facts in the video might be a bit true, though. Point me out if I'm wrong, though. Bye bye